This video is going to explore the different options for sharing your Google links. So normally when we share anything, we open the doc, slides, drawing sheet, whatever we're using, and we come over to the share button, and we first make sure our permissions are correct. So if we want to share directly with people um, and give them viewing or editing rights, we add their email in here and send it to them. If not, we come down here and change this and make sure we can restrict this to our school domain. We can restrict this from anybody viewing or anyone with the link can view. And then we click done or we grab the link right here. You can grab the link right here if you want to look at your share right, but you don't have to. You can actually grab this link up here as well right in the URL. So just for what we're doing today in this video, I'm going to always use the URL link, but keep in mind you always want to check your share settings before sharing the link to avoid any issues happening. I want them to be able to come in here and edit. I'm doing a check-in with them. And I want them to be able to drag and drop and I want to see their responses in real time. And I want everybody on the same slides. Right now, this is in edit mode. And an easy way to share with my students is to come back to this share button. Ensure that it is in edit mode, that when I share this link out with my students, that it's going to be able to be edited by my students. And then I can just grab this link and share it with them. So if you look up here and I select end and go to the end, you can tell I'm in edit mode here. And that's what I want to give students. So I can share this link with them or go to share and share that link with them. So that would be the edit mode. Say I want everybody to have their own individual copy of this. If I use Google Assignments, I can select that every student get a copy and I can avoid having to do this little trick. What I'm going to do is if I come over here to end, to the end of my URL, and I backspace to the edit, I can actually type the word copy in, select enter, and it forces to make a copy for the student. And so then they make a copy and they will get their own copy. The only thing with this is you need to find some way to get it back to them so you can view it in real time so you can see what they're doing. For this document, I've actually put in comments in here that I want the students to see. So I want them to get their own copy, but also receive the comments with them. If I come to the URL and of course backspace again the whole way to the edit, and I put in copy, question mark, copy, capital C, comments, equals true. This will actually force a copy, but this time it's going to actually keep the comments with it. So once the students get that copy, they'll get the copy and the comments populate. And you can even see comments above copied from the original document. And they can treat these comments just like any other comments that they use. If you're using Google Classroom, you can always use the uh, copy comments extension that allows you to copy the comments when you select every student get their own copy. Sometimes I make templates of things and I let students choose maybe what template they want to use because they might like something different than the next student. So if I use the force copy, it's going to automatically make a copy and put it in the student's Google Drive. To not clutter up their drive with copies that they might not end up using, you can actually put this in a template preview mode. Same thing as I've done in the others. Gone to the end of the URL, backspace to the edit, and then for this one, I can put in template preview and hit enter. And what this one does is it actually gives a preview prior to making that copy and putting it in my drive. I can actually preview this. I don't have any more slides to go to because it's only one slide, but I can preview this and say, okay, yes, I want to use this template. Once I select use template, then it'll actually make the copy and give me my own copy. So let's say I put something together for students to view. I want them to follow along with me when I'm presenting in class, or I want them to click through something that I've animated slides to connect to each other. And so I want them to click through them that way. Once again, I come up to um, my URL, I go to the end and I backspace the whole way to the edit. And this time I'm gonna do preview. So what's really nice about this preview option is I now have my slides and I can slide through like this and I still get my toolbar up here, my URL bar, so I'm not in full present mode. But students can, will get this option also. And then I have my options here that would normally be down there. If I want to enter full screen, I can. If I want to come back out and exit full screen, I can. So this is a little bit different than presenting, but it's in a preview mode. What's really nice, though, if I actually go back to the end, and I don't want students to have access to this navigation bar, this toolbar down here, 
I can actually erase and start with preview question mark rm equals minimal. And what that does is it actually puts it in preview mode, but no toolbar down here. So my students can't skip other than going forward and like clicking on the slides. That's a really nice feature with the preview minimal option. So at any time, you can actually erase back to that slash and type back in edit, and I'm able to go back into my edit mode. It doesn't give me a new copy or anything like that. I'm just back in edit mode. So I hope these different options for sharing out Google links is helpful in the different ways you're using your Google Suite products in your classroom.